What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. And look, today I'm gonna give you guys some tips on seamer intention and urges. As you can see by the title, I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips when you're on seamer intention and you have urges. I'm gonna be breaking down some tips that um, I personally use whenever I get urges, you know what I'm saying? And you can adopt the same thing in your everyday lifestyle. So look, without further ado, I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's just get right into it, bro. So look, I'm gonna break this down into scenarios, right? So let's say, let's say it's a normal day, like, you know, it's sunny outside, it's daytime. You're not really doing much. You're bored in your room or something. And then out of nowhere, you get an urge, right? So when it's daytime, you know, what you want to do is you want to put your energy, you want to put all of that sexual energy that you're, that you have inside of you. You want to put all that energy into your purpose. You want to do something that, you know, will take up uh, a majority of your time, right? So, you know, you always want to pursue, you always want to keep your mind stimulated and occupied. You always want to be occupied. And I'm not saying drive, work yourself to death, but you always want to be occupied. You know what I'm saying? So your brain cannot like wander off into lust land. You know what I'm saying? So you always want to stay occupied uh, when you're on seamer intention. Always stay occupied. Um, and for those of you guys that has a purpose, you know, let's say you have a YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? Go outside, make like two, three videos. Another thing is, you know, if it's daytime, um, for, for most people that's, for most people that work out, you can start working out. You know what I'm saying? Work out for at least 30 minutes to an hour. If you, if you're on seamer attention and you get any urges, what you want to do is, um, what you want to do is start working out. You know what I'm saying? Put all that passionate energy into working out. You know what I'm saying? Hit those pushups. Hit a number of pushups that you haven't been able to hit, you know? So let's say, let's say you normally do a hundred pushups, right? If you ever get an urge, challenge yourself to do 200 push-ups. And you know what I'm saying? It's a domino effect from there. So if you get an urge in the daytime, you know what I'm saying? All I can say is stay off your phone. Um, keep your mind occupied. So, you know, um, um, what you want to do is be on your purpose, bro. And I know that's a cliche, you know, be on your purpose. Everybody says be on your purpose, be on your purpose. And I, and I get it. We know you should be on your purpose, right? They like Javon, we know I should be on my purpose. But yeah, what you want to do is, you know, just keep your mind occupied. OK, that's the main goal. Let's say it's just a daytime, you know, start working out. Um, let's say you get an urge, start drawing. You know what I'm saying? Let, like pick up a hobby, find a hobby that you like to do. You know, for me personally, one hobby that I like doing is, you know, giving myself haircuts, you know, like little tape up phase here and there. So and tape up phase for me, take at least um, an hour and a half, maybe two hours, depending on the day. You know what I'm saying? So find yourself a hobby that you can do. Find yourself a hobby that will take up most of your time. OK, because that's the goal. You want to you want to kill time, but you want to be productive at the same time, not just sitting there having these lustful thoughts in your head also another thing another thing you can do is let's say it's daytime you can go for a, a jog around the neighborhood you know what i'm saying another another urge relief that you know just came up in my mind is if you're a boxer start you know start boxing start boxing and you know release some tension release some of that um stress you know what i'm saying release some of that built up um, tension, you know what I'm saying? Boxing is a good way to release some tension. So I would say, you know, work out if you have to. If you got a YouTube channel, make two to three videos. Um, and um, you can jog, go for a jog in the neighborhood or even go out in nature, you know what I'm saying? Anything that's going to take up most of your time, stimulate your mind, something that you like to do, I would recommend that you do that and take action in doing that whenever you get that urge okay so that was the first scenario so let's say let's say it's nighttime right let's say it's nighttime um you're in bed or whatever and you know you 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 start to get these urges right so what you want to do is first of all you want to get off the phone 
because nine times out of ten you're on your phone you're probably on instagram twitter um you're probably on some type of social media site and that's why you're getting these urges right so it's nighttime nighttime is when we're we're the most vulnerable to getting seduced by you know these instagram models so nighttime is when you're more vulnerable to these kind of low frequency energy so what you want to do when you get an urge in the nighttime is you want to put the phone down you know what i'm saying if you get an urge and let's say it's like 12 o'clock one o'clock bro put the phone down and just just call it and just call it a night bro just put the phone down and then you know just go to sleep you know or at, at least try to go to sleep you know and if you can't fall asleep if you have all these thoughts all these lustful thoughts just racing in your head what you want to do is you know start listening to healing frequencies you know start listening to positive healing frequencies on youtube start listening to uh, meditation music that's gonna calm your mind down all right because that's the goal you want to calm your mind down and i know that whenever you get the lust these lustful thoughts in the nighttime you know um it's kind of hard to just uh forget forget about it you know especially if you just seen something on twitter you know it's gonna be stuck in your subconscious mind and the goal is to fall asleep peacefully right so in the nighttime if you get any urges bro another thing you can also do is hit some push-ups hit like 25 to 30 push-ups in the nighttime i don't care if you i don't care if you comfortable under your blanket if you get these type of urges and let's say maybe you're not ready to go to sleep hit like 20 25 to 30 push-ups and i promise you them urges is going to just slowly disappear so in the nighttime get off the phone bro if you got to go to sleep go to sleep don't don't binge watch no none of these tiktok videos don't don't do that you know so go to sleep if you don't want to go to sleep yet if you're not ready to go to sleep um hit 20 25 to 30 push-ups it don't matter if you under your blanket comfortable you gotta hit them things and if you know and if that don't seem to work or let's say let's say you're you put the phone down you're trying to sleep you know um start listening to frequencies and try to fall asleep to that right and then you will notice that those lustful thoughts just slowly go away so since i got that out the way let's go into another scenario the other scenario is in the morning time so in the morning time man in the morning time is kind of tough because i had these i had these moments where in the morning time i'll wake up with the mean wood i cannot lie if you're a man out there you know what i'm talking about <laughs> so yeah if you wake up in the morning time and you notice you got the meanest wood out there bro what you want to do is what you want to do is start your day right away get up start your day right away because in the morning time you're just like how in the nighttime you're you're kind of vulnerable in the morning time your your mind is still trying to take in everything you know you you're you're start you're becoming more conscious again you know what i'm saying when you first wake up i believe what i think is your mind is still in the theta state I, i'm not sure correct correct me down below but when you first wake up your mind is still um your mind is still trying to awaken you know what i'm saying so you're still vulnerable at that point to just um relapse let's say you know so in the morning time let's say if you get an urge bro you gotta get up don't even look at your phone don't even look don't make your phone the first part of your day if you get an urge in the morning time what you want to do is get up and go take a cold shower you know and cold showers could apply with you know morning evening and night you know it could all go but in the morning time because we're we, we're about to start our day you know what i'm saying in the morning time is the best time to get that cold shower out the way you know and get your get your blood flowing and you know a cold shower is gonna kill all kill like die down all those lustful thoughts you know and it, it's gonna make you more energetic and in the mood to start your day on a better note you know what i'm saying so morning morning urges you should already know bro get up out the bed make your bed you know start doing things that's hard start getting out your comfort zone especially in the morning time because 
whatever you do in the morning time is gonna set you up for the whole entire day. So let's say you get an urge and you just in the bed, not doing nothing, you pick up your phone and you just lay there for another hour, that's gonna set you up for the remainder of the day. So like I said, you wanna get up out the bed, make your bed, take your cold shower and start your day. If you gotta get a workout in, get your workout in and then start your day. And I feel like those those few things in the scenarios that I just described will help you, you know, get rid of any urges, especially when you're on seamer intention. So that was the video for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it. Comment down below any thoughts. Uh, my email is in the description. So if any of you guys want to contact me through my email, it's in the description. Um, so yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.